Yeah, we got beat by the fighting Quinesha Lockett. I mean, she was unbelievable from from uh, halftime on. I mean, she's a heck of a player. It's a really good team. That's why they got picked to win the league. Um, I thought other than their third quarter outburst uh, offensively, I thought we played right with them the whole game. I, I was proud of the way our team played. Coming back from a subpar performance against Miami, I thought we answered the bell and, and played with a lot more intensity and passion, which I like to see. Um, but got to give, got to give uh, them credit. I mean, I thought a lot of the shots that she got some easy looks, but I thought a lot of the shots that she took were hi higher degree of difficulty, and she just made everything. I mean, there was a stretch there. You just kind of put your hands up and say, they can't miss. Um, and then we had a little trouble scoring at the same time. So those two things coming together is really what gave them that run in the third quarter. You know, we outscored them in the fourth on a nice little comeback there. It was tied at halftime. It was just the the third quarter run that really got us. But uh, thought it was a good game. Um, I think it's uh, we can certainly build off of it. Um, and we have to have short-term memory moving forward because, uh, like I typically say, nobody's going to have any sympathy for us. Everybody else is trying to win games as well. We have to take care of our own stuff. Yeah, so in the third quarter, uh, like Coach said, we just weren't getting stops and we weren't really scoring the ball either. Uh, we were struggling, and Lockett, she just went off. Uh, it was tough to guard her. So I think that was our big issue. And then going in the fourth quarter, we started to play defense. We started to press more. Our intensity was higher, uh, which helped us to shoot win that quarter. Uh, so going back and looking at it, I think that's just how we have to play the whole game. I would say similar, I think in the third quarter, they were hitting a lot of shots. Like coach said, they weren't all easy. They were, some were highly contested and they were just knocking them down and we weren't having as much luck. And in the fourth, like Corinne said, intensity. And I think if we played with that type of intensity the whole game, it would have helped. But yeah, they knocked down some tough shots and didn't help anything. Yeah, so we talked about being connected on defense and locking for the game. Uh, and, you know, she got to the rim when she wanted to. She, I think we could have been better help side a few times, but I feel like we played her pretty well. She, She's a tough player. She knocked down tough contested shots. I don't think she had really too many easy looks. Um, but we held a lot of their other players short. We just have to step up and guard her as a team whenever she's going off like that. Uh, I think I'm just being more aggressive, uh, finding better looks in our offense. Uh, right now, we're struggling to score a little bit, either outside or inside the paint. So I think I'm finding pretty good looks in our offense, coming off screens. Uh, I know that Lindsey, uh, Bridget, Katie in the past, they've had really big games, so defense are drawn more to them. Uh, which is freeing, you know. Yeah. Uh, coach has talked a number of times this season about wanting you to be more aggressive. Do you get a self-conscious effort from you? Uh, a little bit. It's more of just wanting to win, too. Uh, if I see an area for not attacking as well, uh, then I'll go score. But it's not just about scoring. It's about me being aggressive. And if my look's there, but if I could get somebody else to look, too, that goes a long way. Uh, no, I don't want to say I really have a strategy. Uh, just play what's open. So if it's my shot, then take the shot. Uh, play what the defense gives. And the girls are very good at knocking down shots, whether it's contested or if they're open. Um, Claire. Claire. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Enjoy your families.
As a difference uh, between last game and this game, last game was uh, f uh, a lack of uh, of um, focus and intensity. You know, I think we addressed that today. I think we played with a lot more focus and intensity than we did on Wednesday. The thing that's frustrating about that is, I think if we play as hard as we did today, we win the game on Wednesday, and then you come into this game and you're like, well, it's the best team in the league. They're going to be tough to beat, and you go th you're three and one in the league. You drop that one, now you're two and two in the league against a really good a good team. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, they're they're uh, they're tough to handle when they get going. And, and like I said, I I've I've seen a lot of film on Lockett over the last few years and played against her in person. I haven't seen her play to that level at all. I mean, I, like I, she's a good player, um, but 13 for 17 when you know she scored at the basket some, but there were so many shots that she took from that were contested. Um, she got some easy looks. Good players are going to do that, but to knock down 13 to 17 and four for seven from three, um, all of her free throws, I mean, she was just kind of in the zone, and, and really we had nothing, not much to, to be able to say about it. Uh, it 100%. Yeah, they came in. I mean, Annie came off the bench. Uh, Jenna came off the bench and did some nice things for us and that type of thing. But 100% it changed our game plan when you don't have your two best post players available to you in the first half. Um, it changed the way we played offense. It changed uh, some of the things that we did defensively. So it really, th those two being in foul trouble early were, were uh, uh, had a big effect on the game. I mean, they, they, I mean, Coach Cullip's not dumb. I mean, she's a good coach. I mean, they came out in the third quarter and said, we're going to pound it inside every time. They've got both their post players in foul trouble. We're going to go inside and see if we can get them in foul trouble. And it changes the way you defend. Um, Lindsay and Bridget had to play defense a little bit different as they went through the game when they were in. Um, and um, it's the right game plan when you have, you know, our two best post players in foul trouble. That's when that's when she gave us the trouble is when is it, at at that point in the game. I wouldn't even necessarily classify them as big games. I think she's just playing the way she's capable of playing. I mean, obviously she's a freshman, so you put a little bit more stock in that. But she's a very talented player. We we want her to be aggressive like that and look for her shot. I think she passed up a few other shots that she should have taken today, to be honest with you. I'd like to get her more than 10 attempts. Um, but, yeah, she's starting to figure things out. She's starting to come into her own. It, there's a learning curve with all that stuff. Um, a lot of times if you have freshmen play really well in the non-conference, it affects them when you get to conference play and they have a scouting report on you now. Corinne was kind of feeling her way through the non-conference, had some nice games, and now she's kind of hitting a rhythm and trying to fi you know, figure out her teammates. Um, where she's looking for shots, understanding what we want for her as well. So she's she's been a quick study and is doing a nice job. Being aggressive, yeah. When she's when she's aggressive like that, she's a, she's a very talented player, and we want to see more from that from her in the future. All right, thanks, Carl. Appreciate it.